Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Ites Dolakya, is going to explain you electric field due to surface charge density. So here we are dealing with to derive electric field calculation for surface charge density. So let us have surface charge first. So if I placed surface charge on YZ plane, then you will be finding it will be looks like this. So let me draw it first. See this is the surface charge and its surface charge density is rho s and as I have told it is there on yz plane. So right now I am just making it on yz plane. So this is y axis, this is z axis and this is x axis. So on x axis I am considering one point at which we are dealing with to measure electric field. So here if I consider point on x axis where we are dealing with to identify electric field and this is what origin. So let us say this is point P and on this point P electric field that is what we are dealing with to calculate. Now see here if I consider a line right so very thin strip means line that I am considering and this thin, thin strip line that is having width of dy where here you can observe this y that is ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity here this dimensions that is ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity as well as on z axis it is ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity but I am considering one strip one can say this is a line and this line is having width of dy and that is ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity then I have already explained you a calculation of electric field because of line so if I consider this line right which is of infinitely length in that case its electric field because of this line that will be there in this direction right let us say this is what electric field e and that is making angle theta over here right and if i say this coordinate on x axis that is x right so our agenda is to calculate electric field at this point now one thing that we need to understand first see if you observe electric field because of this strip so that is happening in this direction similarly opposite side strip that will be happening in this direction right so you'll be finding uh, that y component that will get cancelled similarly for z component even electric field will get cancelled so you'll be finding for this surface charge y component of electric field and z component of electric field that will get cancelled so there is no y component and z component that is there as if surface charge is there on yz plane so here i need to mention this there is now see here one more thing that we need to understand for line charge for line charge we have already derived electric field so for line charge for line charge electric field that is E is equals to rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 R where R is distance from the line so if I say this is what the distance R then this distance R that is square root of x square plus y square right so this r in this case that will be square root of x square plus y square and here this line charge that is for one strip only and to have total surface charge electric field we need to have integration so here i am saying this is what de now here one more thing that we need to understand that is see the relation in between line charge and surface charge so see here surface charge
सो लाइन चार्ज दैट इज dy इंटू सरफेस चार्ज लाइन चार्ज दैट इज dy इंटू सरफेस चार्ज सो बेसिकली दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड बेस्ड ऑन लाइन चार्ज नाउ आई कैन री वाइट दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सरफेस चार्ज सो लेट मी राइट इट फर्स्ट एंड दिस आर दैट इज स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर नाउ सी एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू देर इज नो वाई एंड जेड कंपोनेंट सो ओनली एक्स कंपोनेंट इज प्रेजेंट सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व this electric field that is making angle theta over here right so this angle has to be theta i1 so component in x direction that is cos component only so here i need to multiply cos theta with this electric field so this is what the result in the electric field which is happening because of this much strip now if i do integration where y range is from minus infinite to plus infinite then i can have total electric field with cos component now see what is the what is that cos theta so if you consider this triangle where in this triangle this is x and this is r so cos theta that is x divided by x square plus y square so here cos theta i'm just writing it cos theta that is x divided by this diagonal that is square root of x square plus y square so ultimately now this electric field formula that will changes to dy rho s divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 into square root of x square plus y square and cos theta that is x divided by square root of x square plus y square so now i'm just simplifying this term so this will <clears throat> now based on integration we can have total electric field so total electric field that is integration of this differential electric field where here you can say based on y it is ranging from minus infinite to infinite rho s x dy Divided by two pi epsilon zero, x square plus y square. Now you see rho s two pi by epsilon zero that is constant. Take it outside. Integration minus infinite to infinite, x dy divided by x square plus y square. Now see this integration that is tan inverse. y by x this integration that is tan inverse y by x where y changes from minus infinite to plus infinite now if you place limit tan inverse infinite so that is pi by 2 and tan inverse minus infinite that is minus pi by 2 so pi by 2 plus pi by 2 that is pi so this resultant will be pi and that pi and this pi that will get cancel so electric field that will be rho s divided by 2 epsilon 0 as see this pi and this pi is getting cancelled so magnitude of electric field because of surface charge that is rho s divided by 2 epsilon 0 now here one thing that we need to understand see whenever elect whenever surface charge is been given to you like see i am just giving you one case so it will be more clear like i am just placing one surface charge you just see this right if i say this is what surface charge and if you want to calculate electric field somewhere over here then that will be in this direction right so it will be always in perpendicular direction and we need to calculate we need to see see this perpendicular direction only right so if i say this plane that is there in xy plane so the direction of electric field that has to be there in z direction right if this plane that is there in xy plane then direction of electric field that has to be there in z direction so likewise if you have surface charge that is there in yz plane for example this is there in y direction 
and this is there in z direction then electric field which is perpendicular to this that has to be there in x direction see this is how we need to understand this and if this charge is positive then electric field will be in outward direction if this charge is negative then electric field will be in inward direction to the sheet so here you don't need to calculate distance only direction that we can directly assume based on uh, orientation of surface here if surface that is there in xy plane then direction of electric field will be in y, z direction that is how we need to understand this so let us have one problem so it will be more clear so let me write one question here first and then i'll solve that problem so see here we have one nano coulomb per meter square charge that is there with us on xy plane and we are dealing with to identify electric field at 1 comma 1 comma 1 meter so if i say we have this sheet and that is there on xy plane so let us say this is x direction this is y direction and on this surface charge density is 1 nano coulomb per meter square right then the direction of electric field that will be if i say here we are delivered to calculate that that is at 1 comma 1 comma 1 then definitely that will be perpendicular to this surface and this direction that is a direction of z which is perpendicular to this right and here we can directly say this electric field is surface charge density divided by 2 epsilon 0 where surface charge density that is 1 nano coulomb per meter square so nano tends to 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 2 epsilon 0 that is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 so if you calculate this that will be so that is 56.47 volt per meter and that is there along the positive z direction so i can say that is there in z direction means case direction so that is how we can identify electric field i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video